Hello, this is Chan Abraham from Daybreak Ministries and Leadership International. Christmas is now well past, it would seem, a couple of days since we were celebrating. But I wonder if you managed to listen to our Queen's Christmas broadcast. I did, and I thought it was wonderful. I'd like to make reference to the particular point that she emphasised, this idea of small steps that can lead to big challenges. She specifically talked about the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem all those years ago, and how few would have expected that the birth of that baby could have had such a momentous impact upon the entire human race for the 2,000 of year, years since that time. But it did. And the upshot of that, I think, for us today, as we uh, look at the year that is now fast disappearing and 2020 and a new decade that is coming, is to ask ourselves the question, well, what are the small steps that I need to take in order to produce big changes? Now, as we come into 2020, of course, uh, there'll be New Year's resolutions and new goals and objectives. And perhaps when I speak with you in a few days time, I'll talk a little bit about that. But let me ask you this question. What are the big things you want to see happening in your life? What are you looking for? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Peace on earth? Well, that's a big one, isn't it? What are the small steps that would enable individuals and families and communities and groups of people and organizations and the nations of the world to get there? I think Her Majesty our Queen was talking about the need to make a decision to do something which will, in due course, have an impact. Perhaps at the time that we are choosing to do it, and when we're actually doing uh, that little thing, it may not seem world-changing, goal-achieving, or that we will have reached our target. But who knows what will happen over a longer period of time. Someone once said that the world is not moved along by the mighty shoves of its heroes, by the aggregate of the tiny pushes of each honest worker. And the same is true of our lives. If we want to make a difference in the world around us, the change starts with each one of us. That is at the heart of the Christmas story. And although Christmas is now two days away, we still have the opportunity because the message of Christmas lingers on right the way throughout into the new year. So why don't we think today about where do we want to go in the coming days, the coming months, and the coming year, and think about the small changes, the small decisions that we may need to take. And some of them may be about changing the way we think. And I'll doubtless talk a little bit more about that in the new year as well. The words of Jesus in John chapter 10, verse 10 are these. I have come that you may have life, and that you may have life to the full. That's the essence of the Christmas story. It's the essence of the Easter story and of the resurrection story. And it's the promise that we have before us today. And the small changes we make can actually make big changes. And that's the thought for today.